in this lecture uh, mainly we will discuss the properties of uh, roc okay a region of convergence okay uh, first uh, we will discuss uh, the property one which is known as the roc does not contain any pole so if you indicate any uh, pole uh, in the z domain for example pole is indicated by the cross it will not contain uh, any roc maybe uh, roc can be outside this pole or inside this pole okay we will see with the example so it does not contain any pole this is the first point okay second property uh, says that if x of n uh, is an finite duration sequence okay is very important is a finite duration sequence then the roc is the entire is a plane okay entire is a plane means uh, you can indicate uh, the roc like this uh, the entire uh, is a plane you can consider okay roc but uh, there can be exceptions either it, it is equal to zero or is it is equal to infinity or it can be both so is it is equal to zero and is it is equal to infinity so the two case we need to consider okay we will see one example uh, a finite duration sequence for example this is a finite duration sequence uh, which exists at n is equal to 0 the function magnitude is 1 and minus 1 the function magnitude is 1 and here also the function magnitude is 1 and all other values it becomes 0 so if you expand uh, the equation based on this particular equation is a transform you will get uh, x of z like this x of z is equal to uh, we don't want to evaluate from minus uh, infinity to infinity because it's starting only from minus 1 to 1 so you can write uh, like this uh, 1 into z raised to 1 plus z 0 plus z raised to minus 1 so it contain terms uh, z and z raised to minus 1 so if you rearrange this you will get uh, there will be two terms it becomes z plus 1 plus z raised to minus 1 and if you slightly modify this becomes uh, z by sorry z plus 1 plus 1 by z and you can see that uh, in this case if z is equal to infinity okay if z is equal to infinity then x of z is tending to infinity so that's why there is one point in some cases we cannot consider z is equal to infinity otherwise the roc is entire z plane but uh, similarly we can consider this case when in this particular case 1 by z if z is equal to 0 not infinity if z is equal to 0 the equation x of z again is tending to infinity means z transform does not exist so z is equal to 0 that's why for a finite duration sequence so this is a finite duration sequence we are giving a special condition except possibly at z is equal to 0 or z is equal to infinity okay otherwise we can say the ROC is entire is a plane so based on the signal based on this signal finite duration sequence I can say ROC will be the entire is a plane without calculating uh, this a transform I can say that uh, the ROC is entire is a plane except at z is equal to 0 and infinity that depends on the signal ok now we will discuss another property as a property 3 and uh, here uh, we can consider a right handed sequence okay right handed sequence and also it's a infinite duration sequence okay uh, it's an ideal infinite duration sequence so i'll take a, an example uh, here uh, the roc is indicated as exterior of a circle okay exterior of a circle and uh, mathematically i can write uh, modulus of z greater than r max means if there is a pole at different points for example this is one pole at r1 another pole at r2 okay and and the maximum value of the pole is r max okay it is indicated as r max 
and the ROC is exterior of this particular R max. So there are n number of poles R1, R2 etc and the maximum value of the pole is R max and if it is a right sided sequence the ROC will be modulus of Z greater than R max means exterior of this particular circuit if the signal is a right sided sequence or in other words you can say it is a uh, causal sequence for example I will take uh, one example A raised to N into U of N okay from the standard result we know that uh, it becomes Z by Z minus A and modulus of Z greater than A that will be the ROC okay so the pole is A here and here you can see that uh, we need to construct a circle with the modulus of Z is equal to A and the ROC will be outside this okay and you can verify one more point uh, in the previous case it is indicated it does not contain any pole okay it does not contain any pole means if Z is equal to A if Z is equal to A this equation becomes tending to infinity so it does not contain any pole okay so it's always greater than a so that's why we are not writing equal to so this is a case of a causal signal okay causal signal or a right handed sequence similarly we will discuss uh, another case if it is a left sided sequence okay it's a left sided sequence if it is a left sided sequence means the ROC will be interior of a circle that is another property means mathematically you can write modulus of is less than R minimum if you take uh, poles for example this is one pole R1 and this is another pole R2 there are n number of poles and the minimum values are minimum okay and if it is a left sided sequence uh, ROC will be interior of the circle so this is the interior of the circle so we need to choose the minimum value of the pole and we need to construct a circle and inside this circle will be the ROC ok this is about the left sided sequence I will write uh, another uh, example for this for example uh, minus a raised to n u of minus n minus 1 as an anti causal signal the Z transform will be Z by Z minus a and the modulus of Z less than a ok so this is the pole a and modulus of Z less than a means inside the circle so ROC will be inside the circuit and this is an anti causal signal okay anti causal signal either you can say that's a left side a purely left sided sequence or we can say it's anti causal signal and for anti causal signal ROC will be interior of the circuit without calculating the is a transform I can see based on the nature of the signal X of n I can say the ROC will be interior of the circuit next uh, we will discuss uh, if it is a two sided infinite duration sequence means uh, it contain uh, both uh, positive values and negative values and uh, it will be a ring ok in the Z plane or you can see it is bounded on interior and exterior by a pole means uh, there will be two values ok this is one pole R1 this is another pole R2 ok and ROC will be like this uh, R1 less than modulus of Z less than R2 ok uh, similar question is uh, explained in lecture 3 so if you want to know about uh, a two sided sequence ROC you can uh, refer lecture 3 and I uh, will give you an example A raised to N into E of N minus uh, b raised to n into u of minus n minus 1 ok so this signal contain both uh, causal part and anti causal part so is a transform will be like this z by z minus a plus z by z minus b and the roc of this particular signal is a less than modulus of z less than modulus sorry less than b means uh, it's a ring actually between two values this r1 is a here and b and one more case uh, if a is less than b okay if a less than b you can write like this and this region okay is actually a ring and if it is a two sided sequence you can say that the roc will be a ring okay uh, 
similarly for the previous problem also uh, if you want to see left sided sequence you can uh, refer lecture 3 and uh, also right sided sequence again you can uh, refer lecture 3 and for a finite duration sequence uh, you can refer lecture 5 okay thank you